a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. You're very welcome to Mass today on the feast of the Assumption of Mary into heaven. She was not allowed to undergo the corruption of the grave, but she was assumed, body and soul, into the glory of heaven. To prepare ourselves to celebrate Mass today, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, as Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of our glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could, could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zachary's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? From the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm, he has routed the proud of heart, he has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. 
The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy to Abraham and his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. The Most Blessed Virgin Mary, when the course of her earthly life was completed, she was taken up body and soul into the glory of heaven, where she already shares in the glory of her Son's resurrection. Now this doctrine was always believed in by the Church and attested to by the saints. It has a firm foundation in Scripture, but it was only proclaimed an official dogma of the Catholic faith by Pope Pius XII on the 1st of November 1950 before a crowd of half a million people in St. Peter's Square in Rome. Now where she has gone, of course, we hope to follow. That's our destiny. In the creed, which we say on most Sundays, we attest to this when we say at the end of the creed, we believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. But the assumption of Mary into heaven does not mean at all that she is distant from us here on earth. Even though the angel Gabriel referred to Mary as being highly favoured, God didn't shield her. We talk about shielding these days during the pandemic, but God didn't shield Mary from human suffering. If anything, her suffering was heightened by virtue of being mother of our suffering Saviour. Standing at the foot of the cross, Mary mystically unites Mary with the passion of her son. And when the soldier literally pierced Jesus' side with a lance, Mary's heart was, our soul, was also pierced with a, a sword of sorrow, that very same sorrow which Simeon prophesied in the temple years before when Jesus was just a baby. Simeon said, a sword of sorrow shall pierce your heart. After all, one of the titans we call Mary is Mother of Sorrows. Mary then can identify with difficulties which families go through today because of similar ones she had to face, such as the uncertainties concerning the conception of Jesus, being turned away from the inn at Bethlehem and not being wanted. The massacre of the innocents, which put baby Jesus' life in mortal peril. The hazardous, hazardous flight into Egypt. Being rebuffed when he was an adult, he went back to Nazareth and he was rebuffed by the locals, the very people he grew up with losing many of his followers after declaring he was the bread of life, culminating, of course, in his final rejection on the cross. That same cross which Mary stood beneath. All these things and much more must have been very trying times for Mary, but it means that she can empathize with us and help us carry similar crosses. Like her son, the humility of Mary, after all, Mary said, talking about herself, she said, the Lord has looked upon his lowly handmaid. So, like her son, the humility of Mary meant that she always put the will of God, howsoever difficult, before her own which is summed up in her response at the Annunciation to the angel Gabriel when she said, Let what you have said 
be done to me. But humility didn't at all mean that Mary was easily cowed. Saint Pope Paul VI recounted in one of his encyclicals that Mary was far from being a timidly submissive woman. Being like Mary doesn't mean being cowed into submission or being bullied. On the contrary, she was a woman who did not hesitate to proclaim that God vindicated the humble and routed, as we just heard in the Magnificat, routed the proud of heart. Now in our prayers, she would surely give us the same courage, despite opposition, to stand up for the truth of the Gospel today as she did in her lifetime. As our mother, she is there to accompany us on our journey through life and above all, lead us into deeper union with her Son. So, as we do with our earthly mothers, let us call often on our Heavenly Mother so that she will help keep us on the path which leads to glory. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this salvation, our tribute of honour, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts, aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your Church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and com comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in the company of the choirs of the angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body of love Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, Heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the 
sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. All generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you all, remain with you always. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.